For the first time in nearly a century, lawmakers in the Texas House have expelled a member accused of predatory sexual misconduct. Fox 26 political reporter Greg Grugan is here live to tell us who's been tossed out and why. Greg. Rashi, the evidence against former House member Brian Slayton was overwhelming and undisputed. Today, the legislators he served with delivered the heaviest possible dose of public disgrace. Of the question of whether or not the member should be expelled. On the floor of the Texas House, the it was a day of reckoning for Brian Slayton, a Republican from Roy City accused of breaching House rules and criminal law. Representative Slayton provided excessive amounts of alcohol to a 19-year-old female legislative aide from his Capitol office, over whom he had the primary responsibility for overseeing and who was unable to give effective consent. He took advantage of her intoxication and had sexual intercourse with her. For more than a month, the actions of the 45-year-old former youth pastor have received intense scrutiny from investigators and House colleagues. Among those leading the call for expulsion, Houston State Rep Ann Johnson, who served for years as a prosecutor of sex crimes. We fear that dark alley, the idea of the perpetrator there with a gun or a knife, but it is this type of man that steals innocence. It is this man not worthy of the position of trust, much less power. Monday, in an apparent attempt to stave off expulsion, Slayton resigned his seat, an action which failed to deter the House from exercising its most severe sanction for the first time in nearly a century. At no point in the last month has he ever demonstrated remorse or appeared apologetic in any way. The final tally, 147 to zero. A resounding bipartisan statement led by House Speaker Dade Phelan. Expulsion of a member of this body is a rare and serious action. Mr. Slayton's predatory behavior merits such a consequence. And for those of you who work in this building, I hope it is a reminder, it only takes one voice to make a difference. As a result of the expulsion vote, Slayton will not receive legislative pay or expense reimbursement. In a measure wrought with symbolism, his name was stripped from both his desk and the House voting board. In the studio, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.